Hey guys and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get proxies from No Hands Proxies and into No Hands SEO. Now there is already a video about how to do this but that was really based on the older version of No Hands Proxies where you could only output a single file whereas now you're able to output different proxies to different files so if you are um, running No Hands SEO without any private proxies at all and you're in, um, relying on the proxies from No Hands Proxies entirely Highly, then um, this is really a, a better guide for you. So I'm going to start off by getting No Hands Proxies up. Now this is um, a blank install, so I'm going to set everything up exactly how you would do it um, without any, um, you know, oh I forgot to mention this, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So first off we want to go to the settings and we want to go to the proxy testing settings. Now you want to be uh, checking the Google search here and save the settings. Now that's all you need to do for proxy testing so every time a, a working proxy is found it will be checked against uh, Google and ensure that that proxy can be used for searching in Google. Now we want to go to the output proxies tab now we're going to be outputting two files here. One file will be the proxies that will be used for searching and the other file will be what will be used for posting um, and pinging it if, if you want to. Okay. So we're going to start off by clicking save to file. Now I'm going to output to a, file, a text file, not a CSV, just a text file. And this is going to be my uh, Google search proxies so I'm going to check the box to only output the website past proxies so all of the proxies in this file will be uh, usable for searching in Google so I'm going to choose what file to output to now it's already in the the no hands SEO folder in the my documents folder so I'm going to call this file Google proxies save that Okay, that's all you need to do for that one. I'm going to add add that um, output option. You see it showed up here. Now I'm going to make a file for the uh, posting proxies. So again, I'm going to be outputting a .txt file. I'm going to call this one posting proxies. Save that. Now, minimum anonymity, because I'm going to be uh, posting with these, I want at least uh, some level of anonymity. Most platforms and sites won't check for um, uh, whether it's an elite proxy or anything like that, so an anonymous is generally more than uh, acceptable for that. So I'm going to choose the, the minimum anonymity as anonymous, and I'm going to leave the only output website past box unchecked because they don't need to be working in Google to, uh, to be usable for posting. So I'm going to add that as well. Now you see we have two uh, output jobs here. Now I want to output the proxies every minute, so what I'm going to do is leave it um, selected on output proxies every, and I'm going to change that to one minute. I'm going to save those settings. Now that's set up to check every proxy for Google. It will output the Google checked proxies to the Google proxies file and it will output all anonymous proxies to the, the posting proxies file and it will do that every minute. Now in the app settings option here you can change a, a few things about like uh, if you have a fast connection you can bump up the worker threads things like that um, but I'm going to leave all the, the threading and the connections uh, I'm just going to leave that as is for now. Now in the proxy limits I'm going to change the retest working proxies here to anywhere from sort of 10 to 20 minutes um, generally 15 minutes you'll get a good number of proxies um, and the, the proxies will be relatively fresh so I'm going to set that to 15 minutes and save the settings one last time. Now that is no hands proxies set up and good to go. That's all you need to do in No Hands Proxies. I'm going to hit the start button. Now you'll see in the log 
it's going to go out, find loads of proxies, and then when it's um, scraped all of the initial proxy sources, what it will then do is you'll see down here in the awaiting proxies that number will increase and increase and increase as time goes on and eventually it will start to check the proxies once it's found some working proxies then it will start to check the working proxies against Google and continue on like that when it's run out of awaiting proxies it will then use the the current list of proxies I uh, see it's um, it's currently checking proxies but when it's run out of the awaiting proxies it will search in Google for new proxy sources that will be mostly unique to yourself and it will then use those proxy sources to find more proxies and then when it's found those it will do the whole checking and uh, checking against Google process. Now it will also recheck these um, periodically at whatever time you, you set it to. I set it to 15 minutes, so every 15 minutes it will recheck the current working proxies list. So, um, well not the whole list, it will recheck a proxy every time it was checked 15 minutes or more ago. Okay, so you can see it's already got, this is the list of working proxies. Now. Oh, what I forgot to mention was in the output proxies, I set this to an, this uh, output option to anonymous. It will output anonymous and delete, so it's basically that and anything better than it. So with the transparent um, uh, proxies file, that will include transparent, anonymous, and delete proxies. It won't just do transparent. Okay. So soon enough, ah, here we go, you can see it's already started checking the working proxy list against Google and it's found one working there and it will, it's found another one there and it will continue on finding more and more. So that's no hands proxy set up and ready to go. What I now need to do is load up no hands SEO and set this up. This is a, a largely a blank install. So what I'm going to show you first is we need to go to the settings tab and then I need to change the search provider to Google. Now if you were using um, public, uh, sorry, private proxies then you could easily use those proxies for both search providers um, Yahoo and Google but as they're public proxies and you only know for a fact that they can be used in Google I would check the, the Google option. Now if you were to use both you would still get all your Google searches or the majority of your Google searches would would be successful but most or a good chunk anyway of the the Yahoo searches would fail so you'd be losing a lot of time to bad searches now if you want to maximize the amount of um, targets that you get then you can leave it on both but to get the maximum number of links in the you know the allotted amount of time that you want to run it I would select Google but really it's up to you I personally use Google just because I get more links that way because I tend to get more targets with Google than I do Yahoo anyway okay so then we can ignore all these other tabs for for this purpose and go straight to the proxies now I'm going to be using the private proxy list as um, or the controls as my uh, posting proxies list and the secondary proxies as my searching proxy list. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, check use private proxies and I'm going to be loading these proxies in from a file. So I'm going to select continually update from file. Now I'm going to load in my posting proxies and you see straight away it's loaded them in. And that's how many um, anonymous and delete proxies that no hands proxies has found for me already then I'm going to go down and select posting. Um, I wouldn't advise really using proxies for link checking. You can do if you really want to keep your IP address away from any website but generally um, websites aren't going to be checking for um, IP addresses that visit the website just the ones that post to it so you're more likely to miss some uh, genuine links or no hands likely to miss some genuine links that it's created if you're using public proxies. So I find things generally are a bit quicker without using proxies for link checking so I'm going to leave that unchecked. 
if you want to if you're using no hands SEO for pinging then you can select those proxies for pinging if you'd like and also PR checking now it tends to be that unlike searching for some reason public proxies are actually really quite reliable for PR checking so you can use that proxy list for PR checking if you'd like now I would not use uh, the check proxies every X minutes because that's what no hands proxies is doing for you you're relying on no hands proxies to check those proxies and ensure that um, every proxy that no hands SEO has got was at least working no more than 15 minutes ago so you don't need to use the the proxy check-in within no hands SEO so that's your posting proxies set up and done now I'm going to set up the searching proxies so I want to enable the use secondary proxies and I'm going to check continually update from file for this control group as well I'm going to hit the browse button and select the the Google proxies now you can see it's loaded in all of the proxies that so far have been checked against Google and can be used for searching so again I'm going to go down to these controls and select searching because that's what these proxies are there for and nothing else I don't need to use those proxies for anything else other than searching and again I'm not going to be checking the these proxies with no hands SEO because they're already checked in no hands proxies now really that's that set up all I would um, suggest that you do is you can change these options over here now you can set a minimum amount of proxies for searching so um, really 50 is quite high for using uh, these proxies so you might you might want to set it at say 10 or 5 or something like that just so that you know that you're not going to be attempting to search if you've only got say four proxies or something like that or no proxies which would be even worse because then you'd be using your own IP address uh, which ideally you don't really want to do so I'd set that just as an arbitrary 10 just to prevent anything anything like that um, remove bad search proxies so if a search ever fails due to the proxy being bad or you know down or banned in the, the search engine you can select that and what that will do is it, it will prevent use of that proxy again and again and again um, so that that's that can be a good option to use and the reschedule search on bad proxy now that one really is down to you I find that tends to work better with private proxies than it does with public proxies and what it will do is if a if a search fails due to a bad proxy so say the proxy's gone down or it's been banned in the search engine um, it will then relist that search job to be done again in the hopes that it will be done with a different proxy that is actually working that time so as I said I find it works better with private proxies but it can be used with public proxies as well there's nothing to say that you can't use that um, personally I don't but you know that's just a choice there's no reason that you can't use it really now the load file delay that's set at 60 seconds uh, by default um, that just means it's going to load in the the proxy list every minute it will load up both the the private proxy list and the the secondary proxy list every minute so a minute's fine uh, there's no need to set it any higher um, and I think that that's all you should need to do so when I hit the save button you'll see down here in the the proxy numbers you've got private um, private proxy list secondary proxy list the harvested proxy list and the search in proxy list so the third value will be naught because we're not using the the proxy harvester in no hands SEO the second number will be the the Google pass proxies and the first number will be the post in proxies now the last number will also be the same as the second one because uh, that's the list that you're using for searching you don't need to worry about that you don't need to look at it that's just a, a basic explanation of it so when I hit save it will reload the list I don't know if you saw it just flash there and you'll see that there's now 167 proxies that are anonymous that are going to be used for posting and there's currently 60 proxies that are going to be used for searching now that might not sound like a lot but bearing in mind this has only been running for nine minutes now and it's been running at just 25 threads now 25 threads is really quite low if you're running it on a a home computer you could probably run it at anywhere up to 50 without worrying about it too much if you're on a VPS 
there's every chance that you could run hundreds of threads um, and the number of proxies that you're going to get is only going to increase as you can see that there's 12,318 proxies that are waiting to be um, uh, checked so there you have it that's how you can set up uh, no hands proxies to get you searching proxies and posting proxies and how to input them into no hands SEO you don't really need to fully understand the steps that I've taken but if you follow those steps step by step there's not really any reason that the proxies won't work um, and you won't get good results so if you follow those steps if you don't have any private proxies at all obviously if you do have private proxies just don't uh, enter in the the private your sorry don't bother with the the posting proxies from no hands proxies just use your private proxies in here that's what I'd suggest okay so I hope that's been helpful if you've got any questions by all means get in touch with me at support at nohandsseo.com or post in the the comments section below I do read the comments um, that are posted so if anyone's got any questions or any uh, requests for more videos or anything like that or just needs clarification on on some part maybe you can't understand my accent I'm not sure so yeah if you've got any questions or you want to get in touch then by all means get in touch I'm always happy to help out where I can and uh, so yeah I hope it's been helpful and see you later cheers